Ahdan Abdelaji, and welcome to another professional prep video. In today's video, we'll be talking about printing array lists in Java. Now, before I begin talking about how to print array lists in Java, let me do a quick recap about array lists and static arrays. So basically, there are multiple types of arrays in Java, but the two big types of arrays are static arrays and dynamic arrays. In today's video, we will be talking about just dynamic arrays and how to print them. If you want to learn more about static arrays and how to print them, there will be a link in the description about that video. Um, in addition, static arrays are basically an array that has a fixed amount of elements when you create the array, and they can't be accessed when you execute the program. So that's basically a static array. Now let me talk to you about what a dynamic array is. Uh, a dynamic array is an array that can be altered during program execution, and you can add things to it so that it's not a fixed amount. Now, to demonstrate this, let me explain how to create an array list. So first of all, we need to have our import.java.util array list. This is a library you need to import. If you do anything with array lists and you don't have that library, you're going to have so many errors. So please remember to put that library. Now, let's talk about how to create an array list. Basically, you have the word array list oh, uh, right here, All right, word array list. Then you have, uh, you have one of those things. And then inside this, you're gonna have your primitive data type. In our case, let's just do an integer since that's one of the most generic ones. And let's call it numbers since integers hold numbers. And then we have the new keyword, array list again. Then we have this like, that thing. Whoa, that thing. And then inside here, like this situation, we have integer or the same primitive data type. Please keep in mind, you can't have like a double here and then an integer here. If not, that'll give you an error. So please keep it consistent throughout your code. Um, now, if you wanna add stuff to this array list, you have to do the dot add function or method. In our case, let's just add 50. I'll put a bunch of random numbers, but um, we'll do that. All right, and obviously dot add won't work because they won't know what array list you're talking about. Some pieces of code might have a lot of different array lists, so it's really important to specify. In our case, this array list is called numbers, so we will be doing numbers.add. And I'm gonna copy and paste this statement like three more times, and you can change the numbers to something like this. So these numbers are now stored inside the array list. Now there are multiple ways of printing out the array list, and one of the most generic common ways, just for testing purposes, is just having it print out numbers in a system.out.println statement. Um, right here is your printout 50, 60, 70, 80. Yep, and it does that. But one thing you should know about this is that, well, first of all, it's the first way of printing and that it has the brackets around them, uh, around the information. Let's go with that, all right? So obviously in a professional circumstance, you might not want to have those brackets around your data or numbers or things like that. So I'm gonna show you three ways we could print out an array list without having that. So the first way is using a for loop. So obviously we'll need an initializer. So int print equals zero, semicolon, then you have to have print is less than something, right? So one of the things we use in printing an array list is numbers dot size. Uh, what this does is get the size of the array so the for loop runs for that amount and it will stop after the, the size of the array is complete and obviously we need a counter so print plus plus after this you'll need a system.out.println statement because you obviously want to print out the arrays correct so system.out.print and then you can do numbers dot get and then inside here you can put print and then plus uh, that, just like a space so that we have space between the numbers so it looks sort of organized. Um, and then, yeah, let's print this out. Let's see what this gives us. All right, cool. So as you can see, it does that without the commas. Uh, one thing you could do is in case if you want the commas, put like a comma right there. Uh, I think you need an extra space, but uh, yeah, you need an extra space, but that's typically how you do it. So just for this, this circumstance, I'll take it out for now. And let me talk about the next way we could do it. So just to give us some space, I'll just keep an empty print ln statement. 
and let's do our next for loop but this time it'll be called a for each loop oh yeah let me just call this uh, generic for loop method of printing uh printing there we go so now we're going to create a for each loop so we can do int and then whatever like just do stuff like integer of all these numbers and stuff in numbers so for each numbers or each stuff in numbers you want it to print system.out.print and stuff and then for the sake of spacing let's just do that so let's print this out as you can see it prints the exact same as our generic for loop but this is a for each loop Clearly, it is a lot quicker, efficient, easier to understand because you don't need like the dot get print and things like that. I mean, it looks concise, looks cooler. I'd prefer using this, but obviously, feel free to use any of these previous methods. Now, there's another way we could use uh, for each loop, and basically, what you do is you change this to integer, and that's all you need to do. You could change this to integer and it'll still run because you call it integer here. So you can change the previous int to integer and also print it out. Same way you can go backwards and it'll still print out the numbers. So these are the three ways of printing out array lists. I hope you found this video useful and informative. Like I said previously, if you wanna learn more about static arrays and how to print those, I'll definitely put a link in the description to those videos. Uh, please check out our website. Uh, any questions, please put them in the comments below. Um, other than that, thank you and have a good day.